Hi everyone, now we're the 2nd of March, just a, our trout season starts on the 15th so I'm just doing a wee quick walk, see what's happening. I have seen a couple of trout rise, uh, so there's obviously some fly on the water and uh, I'm actually on the river here and this is, as you can see, it's not the easiest of walking. Uh, it's not okay at this time of the year, but there's a lot of trees down for last year. So there is. And uh, there's always this happens through the winter. It's obviously stuff been there for a while, like. But I'm just up a wee quick donor, as we say in Scotland. A wee quick look and see what's happening. And uh, hopefully in a couple of weeks' time, we'll get a good, we'll get a cast for the start of the brown trout season. We could fish for grayling if we wanted, and the chances are there could be some grayling rising. But I'm more interested to see the fly life. So this time of year, you're looking. But olives coming off, oops, such like uh, March browns, which can be quite rare to see nowadays, like, but we still get them. So, be quick. This is an old mill, a dam here that used to regulate the mill that was here. This is called the Nether Mills. So, no, this is early yet, I mean, if you're looking to get a hatch, I mean, it's quarter, just now it's uh, quarter to twelve. Warmest part of the day is when you're going to get a hatch. I usually say between eleven, eleven and two. And this is the time of year you'd get a, a good hatch of flies. Or the start of a hatch. I don't see any fly life. So I did see a trout rise just below me here when I walked, walked up. So this is a good area. I mean, you've got a lot of trees in both banks. It's slightly warmer than it is now, obviously an open area. So there's, if you're going to see a hatch of flies, it's usually in this area. Uh, but as the season goes, you'll get them anywhere. But anyway, we'll have a wee quick look. So... Just need to see the odd fly. I'm going to take a donor a walk up the river as well. I'll go further up. Just to see, but... This is usually a good area. And this bit, this is a wee, a good pool out over there. That doesn't all, no it's not. Sorry. <laughs> For a second there, I thought it's just a feather. We've got some ducks up here, all having a go at one another. More male ducks than there are female ducks, so they certainly be competing with one another. You can hear the birds sing, it's great to hear it. This bit here is a flat just up. Before it runs to the far side, but it runs to the centre of the river. It's very good for grayling. Here, it's, it's in between the boulders, there's always a good hatch. I'm going to do, I'm going to be filming here once the season, the brown trout season is open. And uh, we can see how it goes. Just, I was hoping to see one or two flies. Uh, as I say, it's maybe a wee touch early. Another hour, there could be a good wee flurry, but they don't last long. You've got to be on the river. Certainly, if you want to fish the dries, there's a wee bit of colour in the river, not much, but there's a wee tinge. So,
This is where I started to fish <coughs> on the river air and below the air angling club stretch. This is Lady Kirk. And then you've got Anne Bank further up. So you have. And uh, they say it's a nice it's a nice wee stretch. It's a bit overgrown but it's great now. It's, this is ideal for like when it's windy. You can come in here and even though we're quite close to the main road, it's just below us. But you, that disappears when you're fishing. You don't you don't hear it with the with the aeroplane in the distance there. Because the Presswick Airport's not far from here. And that's where they basically they service aeroplanes, so we get a lot of these flights around in circles. Anyway, that's just a wee quick look. Unfortunately I've not seen a fly. But I'm gonna go further up and see if we can we can actually look at some flies coming off. So anyway, there we are, that's about the river air. Well, we've moved up maybe a couple of miles, or two or three miles anyway, in the river air. Uh, we're up at Oswald Bridge, just to see what's happening. Uh, they say it's the 2nd of March, we're just a couple of weeks away from the brown trout season starting. Um, just looking to see what's happening and uh, the river's, we've well, had a, two or three weeks of settled weather so the river's dropped back and it's sitting actually very good. Uh, you can see it's no leaves on the water or in like, oh sorry, on the trees. What should you expect? But have you quite looked down? Um, no signs of any fish rising or anything. But I mean, that this time of year it's it's hit or miss. But we're going to go down and see. Have we quite look? See if we can see any fly life. It's always good to see or how the season's going to start. We quite look up on the other side of the river. It looks great. Look at it. Again, plenty of ducks on the water. The river's actually doesn't look too bad here, quite clear. So, we we're going to be fishing this through the season. This is one of my favourite areas. It's always good for grayling and obviously the brown trout. So, well, we walk down the river, see what happens. We just work our way down to the water, see, see what it's like. I know it's not a fishing video, but it gets you ready. It's always, it's always good to uh, have a look at the river. I'll just even get getting out. Don't need to go fishing to get down the river. So, so anyway. There's always somebody that doesn't like nature flinging away their cans of what's well, when you've got a piece of water it's access to the easy access you get you get rubbish but anyway here we are if you've seen this part of the river before I've fished it many a time uh, it's one of my favourite bits to fish is this is well that's Oswald Bridge called the Laundry Pool uh, must have been a laundry on it at one time. No 100% sure, but anyway, if it's called after something like that, like the mill pool, there's obviously been a mill or something. There we are, a couple of ducks. Quite happy to sit there, but what I'm looking for is any fly life. We are, what time? Just after 12. Looking at it, I say, the warmest part of the day. Especially in the spring of the year, if you're going to get a hatch of flies, that's, that's the time of the... No sun. Sun doesn't make a difference, a wee, bit, a wee touch of heat can encourage a hatch. 
I'll just keep an eye here because I have seen the fish rise just in front uh, and I have seen a small dun fly hatching so hopefully maybe we might see one or two flies I was ready for going away there um, what time are we at? Mm, it's early, it's only half past twelve um, as I say normally if we're going to see any fly coming off between eleven and two is the best time depends on the day, depends, I mean it's actually quite nice we've got the sun's trying to come through if the sun had come out for a second, it would make a difference, I would think. It's a wee touch of heat and suddenly you get a hatch. Well, I'm starting to see the odd fly. Uh, I have, as I say, I've seen the fish rise there. That fly wasn't exactly over at the one I've just seen there. It's a nice wee all of it's coming off. And... Uh, it's a good place to see flies coming off is then just be a fast run and they'll hatch and another fly there so there's another wee dun coming down, I don't know if you can see it but I can see it in front of us uh, I'll keep watching because you might see that fish come back up I see it's just in the middle of the river there could be one or two more, there could be one or two in front uh, just needs one or two flies to come off and they'll come up It's a good sign. There's another wee done there. We'd love to see a March Brown come off or two. But they're a rare wee beastie nowadays, there's a March Brown. We just do get them, but the used to get flurries of them coming down the river. I mean unbelievable like. Big catches. We're still early, but we're still only in the second of March. The season's really just starting. Well, uh, for the flies coming off, the uh, trout season started as I've done just in front here. Uh, nice bee fly. It's great. Could just right at the start of a wee hatch here, you never know. Oh, well, that's it. it. Just wee dribs and drabs. I'm not sure if the camera can pick up the fly. Uh, pick it up if there's plenty of them, like uh, down the bottom here. There's no birds feeding, so usually you get the wagtails feeding on them if there's plenty, so I don't see any around. Done. So they're starting, they're slowly but surely starting. It's what time? It's quarter to one. Um, I'm not going to hang around too long. But as I say, it's just a wee quick video. There's another done there. Now that's right in line with that fish rose. If it stays there, the fish hopefully might. No. A lucky flight. I mean, where you normally see the hatches, the flies will hatch in the run, in the faster water, and then drift onto the slacker. But uh, fish could be anywhere, but I mean, normally I see them would be in this area. Conditions are ideal for a seeing a fly or two coming off. I'm going to walk down a wee bit just to see. I might be able to see the... A fish will probably rise now since I walked away. That's what normally happens. If I had my rod I could probably catch it but we'll wait till the, the season starts proper. Uh, now I could fish for grayling because they're still allowed to fish for grayling at this time of the year. Yeah, let's go down a wee bit further. There's a roll of in front of us here, flying. 
if you can see it. So there we are. So the flies are they're hatching, starting to come off. So not long to hopefully I'll get out in the first day. It's the weather conditions, if the weather's good, if the rivers and if it's not in it stays like this, we're laughing, and the dunes coming here. Another one just out there. I know I'm pout, pointing out individual flies, there's another one. So the hatch is really starting to come on. And uh, where are we? Just that one fish at Rose there. I'm surprised I've not seen another one or two because the fish will be hungry. A long winter and they'll be looking to feed them. I don't know, I don't know if you can see these flies. Uh, you can see the seas directly in front of me here coming down. Drifting really nice. The speed of that flies faster than the actual river so secret is to get your fly to drift as fast and you've got to graze your leader up sometimes so it drifts and uh, so you want it to sit nice and the fish just does what they indicate they like so there are, folks I thought you were quite quite look as I say in the river air getting ready for the season in two weeks time I'll go and pick my fishing ticket up tomorrow night. I have a permit which should be £60 pound last year for the season, and that allows you to fish for salmon as much as it does for trout and grayling. So, uh, there we can see the flies, the flies there now. There's more flies coming down. I wonder if that fish will come back up. Right, that just rose there. I don't know if you saw it, right in front of us. I'll just keep an eye on that in a second. There's another fly coming down. Uh, there's a couple there actually. Just keep an eye on that. Another. There you go, now it's up again. So there they are. It just shows you. Another fly there. That's a wee bit too far out. Just watch it for a minute. There's a flying line with it just now. Uh, it's, it's actually flying. No, let's get by. Watch again, see if there's an air fly comes down over that fish. I don't think it's a big fish, it's just a small fish, but. Uh, could be a, either a brown trout or a grayling. There's a wee bit of sun, that'll help. So there's a wee done coming down. Oh, it's taken off. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's just a wee fish. It doesn't matter, it does. It's, it's great to see. Hopefully the camera can pick that up. There's a couple more duns coming out. They're not big flies, they're just small duns. Probably Size 14, there's another one, there you go, that's up again, that's another fish, there's one further over, this one here, there's a couple of fish rising in there, another fly, another done, no, it's just taken, this is ideal, I'm glad I waited a wee bit, we could see these fish, or see the flies coming off a wee bit, and another done coming down, if you just watch it, it's come towards me a wee bit though. Oh, it's taken off, land it. Another bin, no, no, a couple. The fish will rise this time, I would think. No, take off, well done. There's no, don't see any fly around. Uh, usually see them along the, 
the edge of the stones, but they're just starting, so just keep an eye on this to a second, see how many. You can see the dun there's a wee one flying. They'll hatch and they'll head towards the bank as quick as they can. It's really small duns those. There's, there's a fly there, just watch for a second. Well, there's a couple. I'm starting to see a good wee hatch now. Oh, there's three and four together, look. Uh, so I'm saying they just suddenly come on. So what time we are? 10 to 1. A wee bit of sun helps though. That sun, it's amazing the difference it makes. Especially early in the season. Ah, that's good. Nice, big, good size done far side. There's one or two bigger olives there. It's looking good. The fly there, come over that fish, but didn't didn't rise. Uh, there's a, a few flies coming now. Oh, there we are, just rose, just in front of us. What I might do is go over a wee bit closer, see if we can get a better picture of that. Just get the camera, so just keep an eye. See a wee dun coming down there. It needs to be just a tad over, the fish is just a bit further over than that. There's another one just coming over it. No. There's one now. Uh, the wind's blowing downstream so they're coming down quite quick. They're blowing by. That's a when she's in front, there's a couple there. Anyway, folks, there we are. I keep wanting to go away, but every so there suddenly is a like this time of year, you can suddenly get a hatch of flies. That's a quick look at the river here. You see the odd done flying by. There is one or two still hatching, there's that wee fish or two is rising there. Uh, hopefully I get some footage of that I'll be able to show you. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, as I say there'll be many more of these throughout the season. I'll be Every opportunity I get I'll take it and move out filming. And hopefully you'll see the season as it develops. And uh, I know you many enjoy watching the videos and uh, enjoy making them. So anyway, until next time, and thanks for watching.